Boeing just had a ton of news come out this week and they reported their earnings this week as well. So let's take a look now into Boeing stock once again and find out if Boeing is really worth a buy right now based on all this new information that we've just received. I want to spend some time going over the news articles that were released over the last week or so. And I also want to spend some time going over their earnings report and pointing out some details that stood out to me personally. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you guys whether I still think that Boeing stock is a buy or not at these current prices. Guys, I know you enjoy Boeing videos and all you have to do to thank me is just smash that like button down below and help get as many likes as possible on this video. So the first piece of news that came out was around the board for Boeing taking some heat. Pretty much in a nutshell, these proxy firms are out here urging shareholders of Boeing stock, like myself I guess, to vote against key board members in a protest against the company's handling of the 737 MAX debacle, and I actually am in favor of this. These individuals were pretty much key decision makers with the 737 MAX and chose to continue operations despite fundamental flaws in the company. And really their ex-CEO was the scapegoat here and he was the main one to take the heat for all these issues. But in my opinion, the whole board needs to be wiped out to properly clear the image for the company moving forward. The new CEO is a good start and a good change. And in my opinion, he will be able to turn around the company, but with the board still operating like they were before, issues still could arise again in the future. So I think the best solution for shareholders and the company really is to wipe the board, get in new members, and start fresh. Make 2020 a new start for Boeing, which shareholders will appreciate a brand new image for. Now this next piece of news broke out on the weekend and really took some investors like myself by surprise. Boeing announced that they were terminating their agreement to establish joint ventures with Brazilian company Embraer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, let me know in the comment section down below. This was supposed to be a partnership with Embraer's commercial aviation business and a second joint venture to develop new markets for the C-390 Millennium Medium Aircraft and Mobility Aircraft. And while this seemed like a way to help both companies in different markets, Boeing had cold feet pretty much right until the end of the closing date. Essentially what they did was they said, you know what, over the last few months, they had been productive but ultimately unsuccessful negotiations about unsatisfied MTA conditions and that's why they were terminating this agreement. But while Boeing hoped this would be a clean termination, it seems like Embraer is going to pursue legal action here against Boeing. They believe that Boeing wrongfully terminated the agreement and they would pursue all remedies against Boeing for the damages incurred. And really guys, we can speculate all we want, but the fact is that Boeing agreed to pay this company $4.2 billion, but after things have changed significantly for the airlines industry and the global economy really in the last couple of months, this has resulted in Embraer's market value crashing to under $1.1 billion, and Boeing realized that even with the penalties and fees they would have to pay for terminating this agreement, they would still come out on top here instead of taking a theoretical $3.1 billion loss from the original agreed upon price. And while it may seem sneaky here on Boeing's part to back out of this deal here pretty much right at the last minute, in my opinion, it probably was the best decision for the company at this point because they are in a position where they need to save as much cash as possible and preserve as much cash as possible, which is why taking a theoretical $3 billion loss on a deal like this wouldn't make financial sense right now. Now, of course, it's not gonna sit well with Embraer's shareholders. They're not gonna be happy about Boeing terminating this deal. And Boeing, in my opinion, will have to pay some penalties for this. It's gonna pretty much be up to a judge and a court to decide how much Boeing would have to pay, if anything. However, I do believe, again, Boeing still will come out on top here despite these fees because it'll still be less than they would have to pay if they went through with the deal. So after these pieces of news, Boeing stock did see a bit of sell-off early in the week, but midway through the week, we did get Boeing's earnings report, which set the tone for the stock. On April 29th, before the market opened, Boeing reported their earnings for Q1 2020. Investors expected horrible results, and we got just that. EPS missed, coming in at negative 1.7 per share, 
and revenue was in line at $16.91 billion. However, what I want you to pay attention to is the year over year drop, which is a whopping 26.2%. So yes, guys, Boeing is hurting right now like expected. In more detail, Boeing stated obviously that the global issue and the 737 MAX issues are both contributing to a ton of financial pressure on the business. Operating cash flow was negative 4.3 billion. However, their cash and marketable security balance sit at 15.5 billion dollars. So at this burn rate, they could theoretically survive for around three to four quarters. But the good news is that their total backlog sits at 439 billion dollars including over 5,000 commercial airplanes. So even with the recent cancellations, there's a lot of money that Boeing is expected to make over the next decade, really. Boeing also gave us a decent comparison of their cash flows from Q1 2020 versus Q1 2019. And you can see here drastically that there is a big difference. Last year, this time, they reported $2.3 billion in free cash flow. That's positive $2.3 billion. And this year was negative $4.7 billion. So there was a lot of impact here from the two main issues that they're facing. However, what put investors at ease is that they now have $15.5 billion in cash and marketable securities. And while a lot of this cash was raised through debt, it helps position Boeing to sustain itself here in the short term while things start to settle down and the company can get things rolling once again once things start picking back up. So I mean, things aren't exactly the best for the company right now, but when looking at their balance sheet, I did notice that their current inventories is extremely high. They have over $80 billion in inventory right now, most of which I assume is 737 MAX planes. So when we do see an FAA certification sometime soon, now we have some news on this and I will cover that in a second, but when that does come, I do believe that Boeing will once again be in a strong position. Boeing will be able to pull through a ton of cash from finally delivering these planes and it'll get them back to stability for the rest of 2020 onwards. Now, while not all of this $80 billion will be profit for the company, it will help the business get the ball rolling once again with 737 MAX productions and get the business profitable once again over time. Now, while commercial airplanes like the 737 MAX is a big portion of the business, defense is another big part of Boeing. We can see here that in Q1 of 2020, they had almost as much revenue from this segment as their commercial segment. And as a shareholder, I like that the business is diversified here at Boeing. Commercial is where the company will be making most of the money over the long term, but in the short term here with these struggles, it's good that they have another segment to really fall back on. Defense is pretty much a sector that I think will always be in demand for this company because their largest customer, I believe, is the U.S. government. And the U.S. government is always going to be a net buyer to support this company because, you know, they also want to have the latest and greatest defense technology from a proud American company. And guys, with the backlog they state here, even though commercial makes up most of it over the long term, defense is still a whopping $63 billion dollars which will be more than enough to sustain the company going forward. Now, of course, there's genuine fear out there that Boeing's customers may not be in a position here to actually go out and purchase new Boeing planes because they are in a position where global demand for travel has pretty much collapsed and some of these companies are facing possible bankruptcy. Now, while this may be true for some companies around the world, in the US at least, these companies are getting aid from the government, so they should be able to survive through this crisis, and it may take them a year or two to actually get them back on their feet, but this is good news for Boeing because it means that some of their largest customers are still going to be around and they're still going to be looking at purchasing planes. One thing you got to keep in mind is that a lot of these companies pay a ton of money for maintenance for these planes. So in a lot of cases, it doesn't really make sense to continue maintaining an older plane. And it just makes more sense to go to Boeing and say we want to buy or lease or whatever it is, some brand new planes from you. Now, I don't expect this to happen in say the next month or two. It's going to take time for things to actually stabilize and for these airline companies to actually have enough cash once again to start spending. But the good thing about Boeing is that they are global, like I said, so not all of the companies in the world are suffering. So as other companies open up and things start getting strong there once again, they start purchasing from Boeing. And eventually over time, we will get the same thing happen here in North America with the US and Canada. And those companies will start purchasing from Boeing as well. And things should theoretically go back to somewhat normal here over a few years for this company. Now, the last piece of news I want to discuss here came on the conference call that Boeing had after they released their earnings. And it's something that I think every investor should pay close attention to. 
The CFO stated that the company is taking steps to preserve its rating and pretty much what this means is that the company is taking steps, taking measures to manage liquidity and maintain its investment grade rating. This is extremely important because this will enable them to weather through the storm and if required raise more capital in the future if, if things do start getting worse once again. Management also came out and gave us some insights on the 737 MAX on the call stating that they expect the FAA to give them approval in Q3 which translates to the back half of 2020. And although we initially expected this approval in the first half of 2020, the positive note here guys is that investors do realize that things are still moving forward in the right direction. Maybe it's in the first half, maybe it's in the second half. Whenever that happens, it doesn't really matter anymore because the point that investors are focused on is that the bottom line being that Boeing will receive certification to sell the 737 MAX once again. And that whole fear that was going around earlier of them having to scrap all of these planes and take losses on them is pretty much a negligible point at this point, in my opinion. And with all this news, the stocks are to uptrend once again and was up over 10% at one point after the earnings call completed as investors were happy with the current financial situation, financial health, and outlook for this company going forward. So now the big question I'm sure you're here for, is Boeing still a good stock to buy right now? I think the answer really depends on what your outlook on the industry looks like. Now, if you believe that these airlines are going to continue having issues, maybe they end up going bankrupt and air travel demand continues to collapse and the global issue has no signs of ever stopping, then it may be a better decision to stay away from this industry because they will continue to get affected and Boeing specifically will continue to get hurt from this. But if you're like me and you're looking at Boeing for a five to 10 year hold or even longer, and you understand that a lot of these short-term issues that they're facing right now should most likely get ironed out over that longer term time period, then absolutely Boeing is a buy today. This company was trading near $450 per share and while that may have been overpriced, it shows me that there was optimism in the company when things were going well. And yes, a lot of it was driven by share buybacks, but I do believe Boeing will be a net buyer of their stocks once again in the future once their financials are fixed. I think that Boeing realizes that their current backlog is extremely bullish for the company. And if they did have the capital, I bet you this company would be buying a ton of their shares right now. Because if they found value at the company at $300 plus per share, how could they not find it in the $100 range? Their current market cap is sitting at around $80 billion or so and their backlog is around $439 billion or so. So if you look at this company over a long-term period like I am, it does look extremely undervalued here in the $100 range. Now this doesn't mean that this $400 plus billion dollar revenue will be realized in the next year or in the next two years. It's gonna take time for it to play out. But if you're in it for the long term and you see the long term game and vision here for Boeing, it does make sense in my opinion to buy some Boeing stock here today. But remember, this video is not financial advice and this is just for entertainment purposes only. So if you are interested in buying Boeing, make sure that you do your own research and make a decision based on that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you enjoyed it. But either way, don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.